Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Chain rule differentiation question number 5. By this time you are familiar with the process of chain rule differentiation. I want to do this problem little faster. If you want more detailed explanation, you watch the videos of question number 1, question number 2 and question number 3. Derivative of 5x plus 4 whole power 8. Till now we learned 17 derivative formulas. We don't have any direct formula for derivative of 5x plus 4 whole power 8. We don't have any direct formula for derivative of 5x plus 4 whole power 8, but we know the derivative of x power n. Derivative of x power n is n into x power n minus 1. You observe 5x plus 4 whole power 8. You observe 5x plus 4 whole power 8. It is little similar to x power n. Now you observe. 5x plus 4 whole power 8. Imagine 5x plus 4 as x. If you imagine 5x plus 4 as x, it looks like x power 8. So derivative of 5x plus 4 whole power 8 is 8 into 5x plus 4 whole power 7 into which one you imagined as x? You need to differentiate it. Which one you imagined as x? 5x plus 4. That means derivative of 5x plus 4. That equal to 8 into 5x plus 4 whole power 7 into derivative of 5x plus 4. You observe in the margin. We already done so many problems of this type. However, I want to revise it quickly. Derivative of 5x plus 4 is derivative of 5x plus derivative of 4. derivative of 5x you know the formula of derivative of ku k into derivative of u so derivative of 5x is 5 into derivative of x derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of 4 4 is constant derivative of constant is 0 so therefore derivative of 5x plus 4 is 5 so derivative of 5x plus 4 is 5 now you multiply 8 into 5 40 into 5x plus 4 whole power 7 Therefore derivative of 5x plus 4 whole power 8 is 40 into 5x plus 4 whole power 7 derivative of sin cube x derivative of sin cube x we don't have any direct formula for derivative of sin cube x however from trigonometry we learn that sin cube x can be written as sin x whole cube From trigonometry, we learn that sine cube x can be written as sine x whole cube. Now, you observe sine x whole cube. You imagine sine x as x. You imagine sine x as x. If you imagine sine x as x, it looks like x cube. Derivative of x cube is 3x square. So derivative of sine x whole cube is 3 into sine x whole square into which one you imagined as x? You need to differentiate it. d by dx of sine x that is equals to 3 into sine x whole square. This can be written as sine square x. Into derivative of sine x. Derivative of sine x is cos x. That equal to 3 into sine square x into cos x. Therefore, derivative of sine cube x equal to 3 sine square x into cos x. Derivative of cos power 5x. Derivative of cos power 5x. We don't have any direct formula for this. From trigonometry, we know that. cos power 5x can be written as cos x whole power 5 derivative of cos x whole power 5 you observe cos x whole power 5 if you imagine cos x as x if you imagine cos x as x it looks like x power 5 what is derivative of x power 
5 into x power 4. So, derivative of cos x whole power 5 is 5 into cos x whole power 4 which can be written as cos power 4x into which one you imagined as x you need to differentiate it into d by dx of cos x that equal to you observe derivative of cos x is minus sin x so i want to write it directly i'll write minus in the beginning minus 5 into cos power 4x cos power 4x into derivative of cos x is minus sin x minus we already written so remaining one is sin x so derivative of cos x is minus sin x sin x we are writing here therefore derivative of cos power 5x equal to minus 5 into cos power 4x into sin x i hope you understand this class if you like this video please press like button below share this video with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe now thanks for watching bye bye